So today's workout, we have some supersets. So we're gonna be using dumbbells. So you want to grab some heavy weights because we're gonna be doing eight reps. We're gonna start out with chest fly. So we're on the ground, arms are gonna go out to the side and you're gonna bring it back together, squeezing your chest to bring those weights back together. We're also gonna keep those hips up in the air, uh, keeping that core nice and tight. And we're just doing eight reps here. And then we're gonna switch over to reverse flies. And now we're gonna be getting up for those reverse flies. So you're gonna stand up, hinge over from the hips. Arms are gonna go straight out, slight bend in those elbows. And you're gonna pinch those shoulder blades together. And we're gonna get eight reps in here, really sh um, squeezing those shoulder blades together, um, keeping your head focused on the floor, not straight down at your toes, just out in front of you a little bit to keep that back flat and that spine in a neutral alignment. Now we're going to finish out this set with five push-ups. I really want you to try to do five full push-ups here as best as you can. So we're going to go down for five, and then we're going to be done with that first set. Excellent. Now we're going to repeat that set two more times. Let's go ahead and get started right back into those chest presses. Feel free to take a rest whenever you need it. You can stop, uh, grab some water, stretch it out. Try to keep those rests 30 seconds or less if, less if you need them in between those sets. But I want you to try and push yourself. So go ahead and keep going with these chest presses. Or if you need that quick break, take it. And then keep going on with the workout. And now we're back up for those reverse flies. Remember, you want to keep your back flat, arms nice and straight. Keep a slight bend in those elbows, squeezing those shoulder blades together. Down for those push-ups. Remember, we have five push-ups. You want to keep that core tight and try to do five full push-ups. Even if it takes you a little bit longer, try to get the full ones in. Moving on to our last set, again, starting with those chest flies. And here we go for those reverse flies. If you need to slow it down and do those reps a little bit slower or even a little bit faster, you can go ahead and do so. You don't have to go at the same pace that I'm going. You wanna try and, and do it at the same pace, but if you need to adjust, go ahead and make the proper adjustments so that you get the workout that you need and that works for your body. This next set is the same format. We're gonna squat a little bit and we are gonna do bicep curls for eight. And then we're gonna turn over for tricep kicks for eight. 
and then we're going to finish out with some push-ups so we have three sets of that take as many breaks as you need try not to rest too long if you need to take a, a break between sets again try to keep it under 30 seconds right around 10 seconds is good grab some water um, and here we go we're going to switch over to those tricep kickbacks keep those elbows pinched to your sides and kick those weights nice and back and then we have the push-up for the finisher on this set Excellent job. And now we're moving on to our another, another set. We have um, arm raises, so lateral arm raises here. We're just going to take that weight and bring it up and out to the side, just above shoulder height. You want to keep that core nice and tight and don't want to swing those arms. You want to do it nice, slow, and controlled. Set those weights down and we're going to grab a chair because we are going to work on the lower back a little bit. So we're going to do um, leg lifts and we're going to squeeze with that lower back and those glutes. We're going to do that for eight reps. So you're going to place your chest and uh, your stomach on the chair. And if you need to, you can reach down for the legs of the chair and hold them and you just bring it up and then all the way down. So you get a greater range of motion than you would with just laying on the ground for those supermans. So if you don't have a chair, you can just lay on the mat and do supermans or improvise and find a bench, a chair, something that you can lay on to be able to give yourself a little bit more range of motion. Now we're gonna finish this set with what we have our cross raises. So what you're going to do is you're going to lift that weight up, bring it out to the side, up overhead, down and back in front, and that's one. So we have five of those. You're really going to feel the burn. You're going to want to choose a light weight for this. And then we're going to repeat two more sets of all of these exercises.
Excellent job. I'm sure you're feeling the burn in those arms right now. So shake them out if you need to, stretch them out. What we're gonna do next is um, move to uh, twist, Russian twist with a weight. We're gonna do eight on each side. So it's a total of 16. Nice, slow and controlled. And we are gonna do three sets of this. And again, keep that, the core tight and you really wanna twist slow and controlled to really get those abs working. And now we're going to move to the sit up to stand up. So you're going to do a little sit up and then you're just going to stand up without touching anything, no assistance, and then back down all the way down to the ground. And we have eight of those. And again, as best as you can, you want to do it without having to hold on to anything for help or using the ground to push yourself up. All right, we are almost done with the workout here. You really wanna keep those abs nice and tight, twisting side to side. So your muscles may be burning a little bit, especially those arms. We're gonna go ahead and transition to those stand-ups. This is the last exercise before we finish. So really push it out here. I know this isn't a high cardio exercise, but you're really using all of those muscles. So keep it going. Don't give up. We're almost at the end of this exercise, this whole workout, not just this exercise. And we are done. Excellent, excellent job today. Get some water, get some rest, and don't forget to stretch it out.